Hi everybody, this is Will Bowen with today's Jumpstart. I read a really interesting study the other day. They wanted to, to judge whether or not the obviousness, the prevalence is not the word, I would say the obviousness of religion is the impact that it has on ethics. Now, uh, the Dalai Lama said that the purpose of religion is to impart ethics and build community. I believe the build community thing. I don't think he said that. I know he said the part about ethics. I've just always said the purpose is also to build community. Now, the interesting thing is, what they wanted to do was they wanted to find out if people being aware of their religion, which is designed to teach ethics, if they're being made aware of their religion, if that made them more likely to act in an ethical way. So they went to Morocco, this group of scientists, and they got a group of uh, merchants. They went to a bunch of merchants, shopkeepers in Morocco, and they gave them money. Now, Morocco is an Islamic country. If you've never been to a country that's almost purely Islamic, it can be a little unsettling. Tanzania, believe it or not, is, is very much Islamic, and I was there. And when I experienced the call to worship from the Islamic uh, uh, religion, it was very unsettling because it scream. it sounds like it's just, there's no way you can miss it, okay? You can have on... Uh, noise-canceling headphones and be in a bunker at the bottom of your house and you are going to hear this. It is intentionally designed to be loud. Now, what does the Islamic proud, uh, uh, call to worship say? It simply says, God is good. Come to pray. Come to that which is good for you or that which is beneficial. Come to pray. God is good. And then it repeats. That's it, over and over. So what they discovered was that they gave these uh, shopkeepers money and they said, you can either keep the money or you can give the money to charity. They found out two things. Number one, the Moroccan shopkeepers were indeed quite charitable. No matter what, they tended to give away a fairly good size, half sometimes, of the money that was given to them just as a windfall. But what they found out that was that when the Islamic call to prayer was being the word is only that I can think of as broadcast because it's on a loudspeaker that you can hear literally all over the country. Uh, when it is going off five times a day, the shopkeepers gave 100% of their money to charity. So in other words, if they were walking down the street, and whereas normally they give $5, I'm using American terminology, to a, a homeless person, they gave $50 to a homeless person simply by being reminded. Now, why am I bringing all this up? I'm bringing it up to remind you of whatever ethics your faith is. Almost every human being on this planet has some sort of faith. It doesn't necessarily have to be one of the great religions, Christianity, Islam, uh, uh, Buddhism, Jainism, uh, uh, Judaism, whatever. It, well, any kind of, as uh, uh, John Lennon said, I don't believe in isms. Um, any sort of ism that you, that you believe in, or it can be your connection to nature or whatever, when you are reminded of it, you are more likely to act ethically. Why is this important? Because the more ethically you act, the better you feel about yourself, and the better the world treats you, because it's karma. So consider that today. Remind yourself of the ethics that your own faith teach you. If you were to say, these are the ethics that I believe based on the faith that I have, just simply asking yourself or writing those things down, you're more likely to act that way. It'll be surprising, but give it a try today. You'll see it's true. Hey, listen, tell me how it goes for you. Leave a question or comment below and tell me how this worked for you and what you experienced. I look forward to hearing from you. Enjoy today, and we'll talk tomorrow. Bye-bye.